Another one of the most essential and important people on a film set is the cinematographer. This position is also called the Director of Photography, or DP for short, or sometimes DOP outside of the United States. This is the person in charge of the look of the movie and everything we see on screen. They direct the camera settings, the camera movement, the lighting, the way shots are framed, and anything else in front of the lens. You know, if a wardrobe person wants to put an actor in a certain shirt, the DP can veto that action because it doesn't fit in the overall visual scheme or because it doesn't look good on camera. Now, obviously, these choices are done in conjunction with the director, who has the final say over all creative choices, but the DP usually works with the director in pre-production to plan the color scheme and a visual style for the film. On the assurance, I had a phenomenal DP booked, and then two weeks before production started, he quit. This DP was going to get his own gaffer, bring him with all of his own gear. So when he quit, I had to stop all other pre-production work until we got those crew and gear issues worked out. So I reluctantly decided to be the DP on the assurance. I've been the DP for you know, several films and corporate videos, so I felt confident that I could do it. And trying to bring someone in at that really important position at the last minute and try to gel with them, that's just too risky for me. The relationship between director and DP is just so critical. And there's frequently conflict there because the DP wants things to look as beautiful as possible, which is by far the most time-consuming aspect of film production. On amateur film sets, young DPs will often take way too much time getting the shot absolutely perfect, regardless of how much that sets back production or how insignificant the shot is in terms of telling the overall story. By the time my DP quit, we had already created several shot lists, our wardrobe was almost finished, I'd already planned a visual style, so it felt too late to bring on a new DP and start from scratch. But I also knew that I couldn't direct well if I had to operate the camera. So I hired a local filmmaking wizard to be my camera operator, which is common on bigger productions that can afford a camera team this big. The DP will then watch the production through a monitor so they can focus on everything that's happening instead of worrying about camera settings or moving the camera or any of that. This whole mess with the DP ended up being one of the biggest challenges I had on the assurance. I really missed not having another collaborator on the visual aspects of the film. At the time that it took me in pre-production to find a new gaffer and camera crew and all that gear, it really took away a lot from the final production. Several key members of my team even mentioned how my being DP and director had hurt the production a little bit, and they were right. Well, see, that's the problem, yeah. is that we're, you need to be with the actors and yeah, the that, first, that's but we also saying. need your, you know, approval on camera setup and yeah. it, it, we, I feel felt like yesterday yeah. it was like back and forth back and, forth, and it, it takes and twice as much time uh -huh. so in a perfect world I would not have directed and been DP I mean look at Barry Sonnenfeld he's a very successful Hollywood cinematographer having been DP on huge movies like Raising Arizona when Harry Met Sally Misery and then Barry later became a director but even when he directed huge movies like Men in Black or The Addams Family he still hired another person to be the DP Although some people like Robert Rodriguez have done an excellent job doing both roles simultaneously, most of the time you want these roles to be filled by two different people. 